throwing one of these frisbee nets is easy if it's a small net, but if it's a big one, like this six footer, you need to understand a key tip that I'm gonna share with you or you'll just become frustrated. Stay tuned. I've got this Placino six foot net. You can see it's huge. And if you look at other YouTube videos where they talk about throwing these Frisbee style nets, they're all small, they're like four footers. And those are easy and there's no issue with doing that. But as soon as you get something that's up above your head, it gets to be a lot harder. So let me talk you through the right way to do this and I will share the one key tip that it took me several hours to learn as I was practicing with this net. And I'll, at the end of the video, for those of you who want to stay around, I'll show you what happens if you don't follow the tip. Yeah, I'm looking around for bait. It's early in the season, the bait's not back yet. But I do see a little bit of action out there. The Placido net is made out of nylon instead of uh, monofilament. And that's kind of handy. It comes with a kit where you can repair the net as well. It's a 3 8 inch gap in the holes in the net, which is perfect for the mullet that I usually target when I go out fishing. Okay, with the sun properly oriented, you'll be able to see this a little bit better. Shake out everything. Make sure nothing is tangled at the bottom. Lift it up. Spin that down. Go down about a third. Put the disc on your fingertips. Move the line out of the way. Put that under your thumb. And now shake it a little bit to make sure that it's not spinning at all. Then go down, grab the middle. The bugs are out today. I like putting it in the groove. Grab as much of this as you can. Hold it behind you, shake it a little bit. Again, to make sure nothing is twisted. Then look at your target, absolutely stiff arm, throw at an upward angle. And that's the type of pancake you're gonna get. Now, on ground, it's gonna bounce, and that's why you see the bottom here has gone in a little bit. Well, that's all there is to it. It's just that one small thing that you got to pay attention to, which is to make sure that the net is not spinning before you get ready and throw it. Now, I like this net. I think that uh, it opens up pretty wide. And once I figured out that little trick about stopping it from spinning, I could pretty much get a nice pancake, I don't know, maybe 80% of the time, which is about normal for me, even with my other types of cast nets. As promised, here's the wrong way to do it. And you'll notice that it's one very small difference. So you still sort it out at the bottom. You grab it a third of the way down. Move the cord out of the way. Everything's the same. You're holding it at the tip of your fingers. But what I was doing wrong is at this point, I would go down and immediately pick up the bottom and would not allow it to stop spinning. And that is going to really screw up the throw. I would just go down, grab it, stiff arm, and throw. And you can see you end up with a disaster. Check that out. Have you had experience with these Frisbee nets? You got any more tips and tricks on how to do a huge net like this six footer? Well, throw it down below. Thanks. The bugs are out here today. <laughs>